and the heat also impacting our yards. Denver 7th Jessica Porter is joining us here in studio tonight. You found it might be a good time to take a look around outside uh, to prevent sticker shock. Yeah, you absolutely should. As I recently found in my front yard, a tree died and the $1,200 price tag to replace it definitely caught me off guard. I spoke to a local tree service who says the heavy rain and flooding can be the root of the problem. I always say sustaining a tree is always going to be cheaper than having to replace a tree. Our hot summer temperatures are finally here. We're out of drought and everything is green. But Davy Tree in Denver is busy. We're seeing a lot of trees that flushed out almost too much and now they're just getting a bunch of dead branches just due to the fact that all of the sun is pretty much just yanking all of the water right out of the tree. The erratic thunderstorms and hail have put our trees through a lot. Sean Ho says to look out for decay, cracks, discolored leaves and root rot. We have such poor soils all throughout this area that they'll go down and kind of start oversaturating the roots and start actually rotting them down and causing not much structure there. And then they can just die out at that point and fall down. A simple thing you can do to make sure your trees are in good health is trim dead branches. So if it's something like this, we just go up, we trim out all the dead branches, uh, make the tree look nice overall, uh, do a nice thinning because you want to make sure that the wind blows through the tree. Sean has a degree in forestry. He says replacing a tree can cost hundreds, even over a thousand dollars. As our weather gets more extreme, he says proper care will save homeowners money in the long run. I want to help the trees is the number one thing is making sure that we're sustaining them because if we don't have trees, nothing would be the same. Jessica Porter, Denver 7.